welcome back to the channel guys i hope your day is going well uh, so a number of updates for this video and uh, of course today is such a very happy day for a lot of our nigerian spikes players because they got on the score sheets uh, for their club sides uh, this day today being sunday of course we had the likes of uh, uh paul onwachu desas lukman Osime, all of them getting in the score sheet for their respective clubs but i also have an update regarding nff and the coaching situation and i think i'm going to start with this one first uh because it it's the more important one of course we need a coach and we've been talking about this for uh several weeks right now so the latest update right now is that uh the sports minister um senator john eno uh, has now been accused an official whose name you know hasn't been given uh is uh you know saying that this the sports minister is actually putting pressure on nfl to appoint amunike you know as the nigerian head coach of course if you follow this channel and if you follow the previous videos you know that uh, uh you know i talked about uh nff uh having been discouraged by the sports minister about the foreign coach that they had prior agreements with you know to take the nigerian spiders head coach job because he told them that if they want to employ the for the for, so, so foreign coach that they've already agreed price uh, uh, you know salary with that they they are going to have to pay that fee by themselves which you know is a lot of money and for that reason nff uh you know technical committee uh created another list you know made of three home base players the likes of Afinidi and uh, Amunike, uh, Amunike and then uh, Omokachi being the three uh, new coaches now that they've now been uh, vetting for the job and uh, of course NFF and the ministry right now they have a bit of a friction it, they, they have a bit of a misunderstanding uh, you know because of this uh, situation coaching uh, situation so based on uh, what this uh, official has said it says that the minister wants amunike to actually be the person that the nff appoints and uh he has uh you know uh, even accused uh the nff of being you know biased in a way of not considering amunike this is what this official you know is, is saying he actually actually told uh score nigeria this and let me bring your mind back to the list the list which the three um uh, man list which was actually submitted uh, uh to the executive committee by the technical committee of nff uh they are pushing coach finidi as the uh, most preferred coach ahead of amunike so amunike is like the second choice in that list and of course uh omokachi is the third but you know they are seriously considering coach Vinidi as the first choice so based on this uh maybe that's why this official is saying that the uh, the minister is uh, accusing nff of being biased uh against amunike but that's the you know the latest that's coming out right now uh, a bit of a friction going on between the ministry and uh, nff and based on this official's uh statement he says that the appointment of the coach still uh, relies on the NFF. It's still their responsibility. But that if there is a friction between the ministry, which of course represents the government in this in the whole situation, if there's a friction, then going forward, the ministry or the minister of sport might have to, you know, seize that responsibility, take that responsibility away from NFF, you know, and. Uh, maybe starts appointing coaches by itself this is what this uh official has now claimed but let me know what you think about this moving forward let me let you know that it was a party of goals was a party of goal scoring uh activities for nigerian super goose players of course uh i mentioned in the last video that uh, you know a lot of matches will be played uh and then of players of course i talked about osime and, and yeah, lukman having a match uh, around 5 p.m but again uh, let's start with uh paul onwatch who he was on fire today as he scored a hat trick and ha also had one assist uh you know for his charles South side as the cruise passed uh gazian tap uh 
at home, it was actually a, a very hard match. Again, Paul Onwachu made it look easy. Uh, but again, in the end, they played out a 4-2 victory over uh, Gaziantep. And Onwachu personally had... Uh, uh, you know some really good uh, contributions uh, three goals as I said and one assist he played for 18 minutes again the man continues to show himself prove, them, prove himself you know as uh, why he needs to uh, why uh, Trasmanso needs to make his deal permanent of course he has said it that he loves the club he wants to stay in Turkey with his family and he is continuing to prove uh, a very valuable asset. Moving forward, guys, let me let you know that Victor Sina was on the score sheet uh, as Napoli played a 2 2 draw against Roma. Osima scored from the spot kick, and again, uh, you know, uh, it was supposed to be a goal that gives them the, the three points, but they could not hold on to that slim lead. And then uh, Nap um, AS Roma equalized. Uh, courtesy of uh, Chelsea's Tammy Abraham, uh, former Chelsea's player Tammy Abraham, and then Osime personally had uh, uh, the whole 90 minutes under his leg, legs, and then uh, had one goal, created five chances. But uh, it's such a shame that they had to walk away with just one point. And uh, moving forward, Ademola Lukman obviously continues his form uh, in today's game against Empoli. He uh, of course, uh, made some really fantastic uh, inputs to the team and scored a very brilliant solo effort goal uh, today to help uh, Atlanta uh, defeat Empoli. Two goes to zero was the final score of that one. Ademola Lukman playing for t uh, 84 minutes of the game, uh, scoring one goal and then creating one chance. The next man that stole the spotlight was Serial Dressers. He scored his 20th league goal uh, today as his Ranger side um, uh, carved out a very slim victory over St. Mirren uh, in a 2-1 defeat of St. Mirren. It was actually an away game, so it was very difficult as you would expect. But Dresser shows up again today. He's been consistent, you know, in, in the last couple of games for uh, Rangers. Of course, we can't forget that two goals I scored last week to help Rangers, you know, uh, edge of our hearts and push them into the finals of uh, the Scottish Cup. And today again, he shows up for the team and uh, gets the goal that guarantees them uh, three points for that one. 20 goal now in total for the season. And uh, for his personal contributions, played 19 minutes, had one goal, created three chances. But aside from these players that, uh, you know, had uh, goal contributions and assists, we also have uh, um, a number of players who were on the receiving end of, uh, on the, you know, opposite end of victories. And the likes of Ola Aina uh, is obviously one of those players. They had a really... Uh, formidable opponent that played Man City, Nottingham Forest. But again, as you would expect, City are on fire. They're constantly uh, chasing the trophy right now, you know, vying for that trophy with Arsenal. So they have like a red eye, you know, on their opponent. So Ola Aina obviously, uh, you know, made his appearance for Nottingham Forest, played 90 minutes, had eight duels, uh, won, and then created one chances. But they fell to two goals. Uh, to nil for that one but as the update guys react to anyone any of the stories that if you connected to don't forget to like and share this video guys take care of yourselves and stay tuned to the channel for more videos